So, you guys, I just discovered that Flight Rising has merch now. They just rolled out a merch store. Uh, that's gonna be expensive for me. Gosh dang it. You know, I don't want to be the type of person who buys merch from an online virtual pets game. But I'm absolutely going to be. Let's see, they got some cool shirts. Ah, uh, yeah, that. Ah, oh, fuck, that's rad! That's rad! Why would you do this to me? These are so rad! Oh, man. Ask me about my pixel dragons. Oh god. <laughs> Why are they doing this to me? They have prints too. Hmm. The prints are unrelated. I see. Okay, these are the specifically this. So they only have shirts for now, but but dang! Dang! Uh, I'm gonna have to spend some money there. I don't want to, but I'm gonna. Um, but not right now. Right now, it's stream time. Good morning. Welcome to Uncaged Fury. Uh, the show that is the opposite of speedruns. That's the show where we play old, uh, nostalgic games very slowly and poorly. Uh, and we analyze their game design and we talk about whether they hold up beyond just nostalgia. Um, currently we are playing Metal Gear Solid. So, I hope I have the right chat open. I think I do. Um, we're currently playing Metal Gear Solid. Uh, what happened last time? We fought a helicopter. And the helicopter uh, was piloted by the, like the big bad guy of the game and it crashed and he died but since he didn't get to make a big villain like speech and he's the leader of the bad guys I have a feeling he's not actually dead and he's gonna come back later um, because like all the villains get to make a big speech in this game this is a game about big speeches I am currently making sure that my CD tray has room to open because I think I should be getting to the second disc soon, if not immediately, uh, upon playing today, um, is my is my theory. Uh, so let's just get right back to it. Oh, I always get nervous when no one's in chat because then no one can tell me if I like forget to switch the screen over or if the sound's not working or anything like that. Um, okay. How are you all doing this morning? Okay, jet lag's here. Good, good. Um, I was cooking dinner for some friends on Friday night, because uh, I like to have people over and cook for them, uh, and our power went out, like, mid-soup, mid-cooking the soup. So that was annoying. I had to, like wrap things in plastic wrap and put everything in the fridge and like luckily the broth was one that could handle being like finished the next day All right, we're gonna do this uh... 858 right that's what we want oh and i beat up some guy invisible guys in an elevator that was a thing that happened Sure. To stop the launch of the new type of nuclear warhead, Snake must use the detonation emergency override key at the maintenance uh, at the underground maintenance base up north, or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake fights Liquid's Hind D on the roof of the communications tower B and defeats it. After taking the elevator in communication towers B and defeating the stealth camouflage soldiers, Snake heads for the entrance of the underground maintenance base beyond the snowfield north of communication tower B. Oh, I almost forgot we also had, like, the gayest scene in the game so far. Um, 
yesterday or last time last time that was a thing that happened because um Otakon came to ask us about love blooming on the battlefield. And we're supposed to assume that it's about Sniper Wolf from the, like, tiny little, like, one scene in which he talked about that, even though, like, the things that have just happened are completely unrelated to her, and it doesn't make any sense that he would just be randomly bringing her up now. And it makes much more sense that he's like, oh... I, I have this thing, but I, I need to tell you in person, and then comes and talks to you about love blooming on the battlefield without mentioning anyone in particular, just talking in kind of an abstract. It makes much more sense that he's flirting with you than that he's just abstractly talking about a character that we haven't seen in a few scenes that he spoke about once in an unrelated context. I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, I guess by default, uh, I feel like they're the only characters who have had real chemistry so far. Um, I don't, I wouldn't call myself a shipper, I'm not about to go out and, like, write fanfic or anything. Uh, that's right, there's... Did I already get the rations under there? Is it going to give me more rations under there? Trying to get north of the building. Shit, I wasn't carrying my rations. Hey, Skug. because I don't think it's going to um, max me out anyway. Yeah, so now I can tank a few hits. Although this does force me to uh, to take, that did force me to take a no, no death route, so maybe I should have kept, or no hit route. So maybe I should have kept doing it. my best work. I'm, I'm bad at not getting items. Okay, here's probably a minefield that I probably am supposed to uh, be careful and use...
Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. Didn't look like it's much of a blizzard. Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf. Do this with no, no, you rations. can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, it's women what naturally storm? make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet. Straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. Some pretty expert you dialogue men are here. so weak. You can never finish what you start. Okay, so I gotta take out the, uh, sniper rifle. I don't have any health, so this is gonna not work out well for me. Uh, there's, okay, there is rations over there, so I could run for that. And I also have some diazepam left. Oh, turn, don't move, turn. I also have, um, scope, don't I? That might be better to find her general area with before I... Okay, or not. There we go. So there's this roof over here. in the corner there by your table leg. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna make a run for the rations over here. I could also not save here and then try and make it with more rations. It's an option. Get hit. I guess I must have got hit. Oh, I can't go behind there. Oh shit, I can even see her. Okay. Juke! Juke! Get up, snake. This angle. Oh, I saw some movement there. I see a puff of breath. There she is.
think I'm better off uh, closing down and reloading the game and trying to get through those cameras without taking hits. Um, because I think I need more... I think I need more health coming into that, or else I'm not going to make it. Um, let's get rid of this sound. And, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Jetlag. Uh, that's a nice thing that you do, writing Christmas cards for people. I have been, like, retreating from Christmas mostly. I try not to get people things because I, I, like, freeze up under the obligation of, you know, coming up with good, appropriate gifts for each person. out of here with two rations um, despite only having a little bit of life left on this one All right, I'm gonna F1 so that I don't have to reload the game See that camera? That is so cheap. Fucking A, how am I supposed to get past those? I don't think slithering does it. Yeah, it can still shoot me there. Oh yeah, thanks. I always forget I have those. go. Uh, no dropped frames yet, so, and I, I think I put it up to full before last time, so. Now, does this not spawn yet? This rations? Oh, no, it does spawn. Very nice. Okay. That puts me in... Uh, this is a different snowfield. Yeah. Saved here, and also I'm going to actually save the game. What can I do for you, Snake? Okay. Snake, Leo DeRocher said, win any way you can. Nice guys finish last. What about you, Snake? Is that what you think? Is there anything that you wouldn't do to stay alive? You should think about that, Snake.
Jesus, I'm going to have to lay down a state save after this because it's just that annoying to... Hit her, but it didn't register as a hit. Oh, fuck. I can't move the stick fast enough or steady enough to get her. Ration further up close. Not there. I don't even fucking know where she is. I wasn't looking behind me, it's just, uh, or at least I can't tell if I was. You can't. Look on your radar. It's somewhere on the distribution. Does it? While I'm in gun mode? You have to trigger this cutscene. I know. Are you going to try to rush her? No. You just die. I've, I've basically seen that at this point. Snake! Are you... So you're not going to use the tree? No. I'm going to try it from this side. I think I'll have a better angle on her hiding spots from here. Um, we'll see if it makes a difference. So did you lock the save after this? I, yeah, I did last time. But, but yeah, because I always get shot immediately thereafter. And also that happens. There she is. Yeah, I see.
Yeah. If I can't see her, she can't hit me from here, so... For fuck's sake, the diazepam are off. Come on. Two can play the patience game. But I will eventually lose to an AI in patience. to shoot me from these other locations that she clearly doesn't have a shot from. While in gun mode? No, just crawl. She no, I think when I go out of gun mode, it changes where she can actually hit me from. I'm pretty sure that they're using different collision for that. I think when I'm out of gun mode, she can just arbitrarily hit me from wherever. Which is which sucks, but I think I understand why they did it that way. They want us to have this like versus battle. <sighs> Come on, lady. That's not how it works. Um, I think she's got like seven places or something and I'm I only have view on like uh, one so um, it's just all right I'm gonna have to get to a better spot yeah see now all of a sudden she can hit me uh, fuck. that's not a rations that box if that's what you're saying I'm interested that it, it, when I got hit, it automatically pops me out of sneaky. Yeah, she just, you can't do it not in this. Alright, we're gonna try from a more central location. It wants me to put myself in a position where I can take hits, uh, so that I can, I'm forced to, like, do this sniper duel thing with her. now. Where the fuck is she? Yeah, that's not how the game works. Yeah, I did. No, see, if I look all the way to the left, uh, like, uh, it, it eventually gets me to, like, a snow hill that she is, if she's there, she's behind it, so it doesn't matter if I go further left. Great. well too. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to avoid this one. It 
sucks that I can't hit her while she's hiding by the tree like that. I should be able to. Now she's somewhere behind this snow hill. Maybe. Should I hear her taking aim? that exclamation mark was about. You can hear it in your heartbeat, how, uh, whether it's worn off or not. Sorry, Otakon. If there's a way to not kill her, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it might be that she saw me, but I mean, she's always sees me. That's the whole point of her being a sniper. I waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Hey, Dano. Yes. My job. Your chat does work. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> Long shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. Okay. People have asked me to do I that before, care. and then they don't like like it when I actually I have do it. Always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. Curd. So that's why you're called Wolf. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was born on the battlefield. Yes, because all Kurds Raised are wolves. On the battlefield. Gunfire. Yeah, and this, and screams. this cutscene is fairly typical of this and game so far, I would life. say. <laughs> this this kind of dramatic like death scene. Day after day. 
driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up. <laughs> also notice the, the dramatic looks at people's faces when they're just like a slightly shaded single polygon. Stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. And you're like, oh man, if you could see just Government the expressions the they're making right now, they would be acting so hard. But then, he appeared. My hero. Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden, watching everything through a rifle squad. I mean, babe, it like honestly, now that like these more. these backstory revel the death revelations are just kind of cuckoo. They occurrence. could be anything. I watched the brutality. The last one revealed that he's like a sadist, uh, and Mankind he just he's just here because he likes watching people rifle. be in pain and causing pain. <laughs> I joined this group of revolutionaries. Take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I mean, I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. And in the name of vengeance, listen. My body <laughs> it's actually my a very good game, Beto. So far, um, now I am not believe it or not. Enough. I mean, that's fair, Jetlag. When you're dying, you're entitled to that. They're not like dogs. <laughs> dogs aren't noble. Dogs are shitheads. The word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. Uh, no, the I'm mercenaries just... mercenaries like us, dogs I... of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. You're different. It's kind Untamed. of hilarious how much Solitary. this game tries to shovel We're in, no like, dog. deep feels. No uh, when it's, Lighting. yeah, it's like they, they're written by an angsty teenager, exactly. You um, but it takes itself Wolf. so goddamn seriously. You spared Meryl's life. Well, that she didn't matter much. We got her killed anyway. A real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. <laughs> You'll die as uh, the But for what it's worth, Dano, what we've been discovering about this game is it's mostly just like a collection of very tight set pieces I wasn't uh, in a way that's really satisfying. Like, you, there's not a lot of fluff or filler in this game. You go, there's a few, like, hiding segments, but you mostly go from, like, interesting boss fight to interesting sequence to interesting boss fight. So, like, it's pretty cool. Why? Why? This is our ally who's maybe in love with Sli I Sniper you. Wolf. Yeah. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you in the head for saying I love you. I mean, he didn't. He didn't specific. He wasn't specifically talking to her necessarily. Okay, it could yeah. still be. Uh, but no, it's fine. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. 
I also had a cold though, and I never found cold I'm medicine, so I kind of going. could use a handkerchief. You're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. <laughs> yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. All right. I want to keep helping. This is a more clarifying. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. It's like, oh, oh, by the way, no, we really, really did mean that Otakon is in love with Sniper Wolf. Please don't misinterpret that previous scene that was incredibly ambiguous that Otakon is Snake. in love with you. What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. I mean, that's fair, Jet Lag. Okay. I'll be searching too. Yeah, he's a uh, he's our scientist friend that we found uh, being attacked by a cyborg ninja earlier, um, and we can call him for hints about where to go next. Excuse me while I. Wait, where did that Windows noise come from? I don't see any pop-ups. I want to get. I want to see if there's any more rations. Because the most important thing. That I have enough rations. Hey, the rations respawn. Nice. And I remember looking through my scope earlier and seeing some rations. But I couldn't really tell where they were. More diazepam. I don't know if they wanted me to be able to get that during the fight. It doesn't seem very plausible. Are there rations in the back of this truck? No. One of these days they're going to let me hide in the back of these trucks and be driven somewhere. I mean, my understanding of the franchise is it just got, like, sillier and sillier, but continued to take itself very seriously. Um, alright, I guess I gotta... Oh, I should probably also save. Yeah, diazepam is, uh, is the thing I take to slow down my heartbeat so I can steadily shoot people with a sniper rifle. You'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. I can't make that promise. Do you know how many times I've already died? Some store rooms. Look at all these bullets that I got. So much bullet. I gotta be careful, some of these might have lasers. Or mines, Jesus. Why would you put a mine in a storeroom? Who puts a mine in a storeroom? Honestly. Is that what's hitting me, or is it something else? What the fuck was even that? I don't know if- yeah, I guess I can do that. Okay, how much? So it just leaves me with one. So first I'm going to go back and get that one ration that I got before. 
Yeah, I should just throw a chaff grenade into every room that I'm about to walk into just in case. But it w definitely wasn't like a, a camera because those were explosions, not bullets. Whoa. Huh? Colonel, listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the hind. Told you he's still alive. A parachute? You don't think that Liquid survived? I assume he survived. He didn't have a giant as death as he speech. jumped out of the pilot seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. That's so what's that parachute doing there, then? I have no idea. A trap? Either that, or a message. To me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. But I think it's more like, I'll string you up. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't. That's a nice little Easter egg. I don't think I was required to find that. Oh, shit. What the heck? They weren't... They didn't have those in there last time. Why those weren't effective last time? Oh, I think I went into this one last time. Is why. I don't know if chaffs affect. Um, if chaffs affect mines, but I guess we'll find out. They do not. Dang it. Nope. Okay. I don't know where the goggles are! I have never known where the goggles are. I'm not going all the way back to the beginning of the game now. Unless there is a sequence where I legit need to have these goggles, I am not going back for them. They clearly made them missable, so... Oh, I should pick up the diazepam that's out here, too. Oh, and a cardboard box. Cool. Alright, I'm actually gonna save that because uh, that's good. I want those rations. There is a sequence where you go back to earlier areas. Snake? Okay, well I can wait for that. I mean, this game is very, um, up. Remember Macbeth, act five they're very much three. about, like, fight to for my justifying things and being as super realistic armor. as possible Everyone on very on specific, to do like, it. details of things, and then just completely, you know, say, like, and also, this guy has psychic powers, <laughs> you know, like, and completely unexplained. Got a bunch of chaff grenades in it, which is cool. This is the one where I just get a fuck ton of bullets. A 
I'll maybe skip the one that's laced with mines, even though there's a uh, even though there's a thing in it. All right, F one. I could also just like state save outside of it, and then uh, um, I think that's the area I'm supposed to go. So I'll just wait there on that for a second. missiles. That's going to be useful. And is this one I already went into? I think that's the one I already went into, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to state save right outside it. I'm going to load every time I take a hit. And that way I'll just tell where the mines are. Let me go behind these trees to make sure they're not hiding anything from me. Okay. F1. Is there a grenade I can use to trigger it? Like a... If I put C4 there, will it set it off? If I just throw a regular grenade in there, would it set it off? It doesn't look like it set it off. in there, but I have four now, so I think I'm okay. That one didn't open for me. Alright, let's, before we go in here, save one last time, since we got all the equipment we're gonna get. What is it, Snake? Um, I mean, and also the game was made in Japan, and I don't know if they would have the same rules about what War you can and can't put in a video game there. Trouble. Honor, but an empty bubble. What about you, Snake? Is your honor just an empty bubble, too? Is my honor just an empty bubble? All right. I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm actually going to take a quick break here, because we finished the set piece. We're about to go forward. It's 11. Um, I'm just going to have a quick donut, uh, and then I am going to come back, and we'll go back in there. Uh, and we will see if we can find our way to the Metal Gear and destroy it. i got to be switching discs soon. This is a two-disc game. I have to be more than halfway through it at this point. I guess we'll see. BRB, folks.